In today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and share with you 20 things you gotta know about watchOS 10. Let's start off with the compatibility. So watchOS 10 will support all main devices so long as it's a series four or newer. So just like the previous OS for watchOS 9, the same compatible devices on that OS, it's also similar to this one. And a lot of you guys left a lot of questions regarding around the previous videos, and I'm gonna go ahead and answer all of them in today's video. So the Wayfinder is an exclusive watch face for the Ultra. This is the watch face that actually will allow you to actually activate night mode, because now whenever you rotate digital crown, it will take you to your smart stack right here as you just witnessed. So unfortunately, smart stack as you witness remove that feature but if you like to activate night mode for the wayfinder for the watch face all you have to do is tap edit and go into uh, night mode right here and i have it on auto so by default since it's on a low dim environment as you just witnessed it will actually switch to night mode automatically utilizing the sensors that it has on the apple watch so it does have the auto capability and I really do prefer this over the uh, rotating on digital crown. Oh, and before I forget to mention, you go, if you like to override it, you totally can. You can literally just leave it on by default or off if you just don't want it. Still kind of glitchy. Now, Control Center, if in case you don't know, has been redesigned because the whole entire UI has been redesigned. So Control Center is now accessible right here on the side and double tap of course will take it to your cards right here for apple pay and you can still change the default card like so as i previously mentioned i'm not going to repeat everything but another commonly asked question is how do you activate app switcher double tap the digital crown will still do it that hasn't changed now you may have noticed everything follows like the transparent like night mode like theme there's no way to remove this this just solely follows like the watch face uh watch face that you've selected so if we actually go back and enter the notification, it just follows the transparent look of the watch face. So it's not night mode, it just goes off like the watch face itself. And you still have other shortcuts to like quickly switch between different watch faces as you just witnessed, just it's still kind of buggy. Now other redesigns for the app layout, one of which is the Now Playing app is now different. If we launch the Now Playing, you now have this cool new interface. You can actually maximize the album artwork that you're listening to, tap play from here digital crown functionality and if you tap play and nothing's paired to the apple watch it will allow you to connect to nearby speaker devices you have with your apple account like our home pods apple tv or you can connect a third-party bluetooth device from here as well so i'm going to go ahead and pause this but the ui on the now plane is totally redesigned because previously it used to look like this really basic and plain and bland other changes can be found in the music app as well the music app i got revamped so if we go ahead and launch the music app on our Series 8, this is how it used to look like, and this is how it looks like now. So if we select a tab, um, a track, you can see the differences between these two. It's a lot pleasant, more gorgeous, I gotta say, on the new watchOS 10 interface. Podcast app also got this similar treatment as well. As you can see, watchOS 9 versus watchOS 10 right here. And the difference is night and day. Again, everything's just better organized. I wish this was like unveiled and redesigned from the previous OS because this really does take advantage of the larger display for both the Series 8 as well as the Apple Watch Ultra. Another massive difference overhaul app that received a massive update is the weather app as well as basically this is how it looks like now you can still tap on the old one to like switch between like rain percentage and stuff like that and this one you could do the same exact thing just doesn't do the circle layout anymore that we've been seeing ever since like the early days of watch os so a much more elegant it even has the same similar design actually but you notice like it looks much more modern but information stuff like that similar just everything is just more pleasant to view on Watch OS 10 compared to Watch OS 9. And then the timer app also got an update because now whenever we launch timer, this is how it looks like now. Very similar. Again, just got like a nice modern tweak. The sleep app itself also got a new update as well. As you can see, similar to the weather app, it also got like a nice like even glow in the background. It even shows you more data information right here as well. And of course, like before, you had to go into full schedule to actually fine tweak it. Now it's on the top corner right here. You can just tap the bell. You can edit your alarm right here. And we go ahead and launch World Clock. World Clock also got the same overhaul as well. 
basically this is how it used to look like with the cards and now look how it looks like now so we actually tap los angeles yeah just overall nice and pleasant the noise app also got a new update as well apologize for using that word a lot but i mean like i don't know what else to say when it, we're transitioning between multiple different apps that got overhauled as you see right here new and old but the learn more Technically, it's located right here in the I section on the top corner, as you just witnessed. Apple News, if we launch this, you're going to see a slightly similar design, but small tweaks here and there. Once it loads on the Series 8, there we go. Just more corner, nice edges on the side. But this is actually one of the few apps that also receive a small update. But the most important updates of them all, in my personal opinion, can be found in the Workout app. If I have the shortcut program right here on the action button to take me to the workout. But cycles, it's glitched right now. But cycles, if we actually go down and launch cycle, this not only can now be paired to Bluetooth devices to gather more additional data, but if you actually go in right here on this section, you can actually use live action to display your cycle runs right here. This is extremely cool because this will allow you to not rely on a third-party app because you'll be able to manage all the important details like your speed, distance travel, and all that good stuff right on your iPhone display so long as you have a nice mount on your handlebar on your bicycle, which will look like this. Then if we actually end this workout here, when you actually tap in, you can actually start a new workout as well. So you, don't have, so you, actually, you could actually like stack up workouts together like right now. So if we tap new workout and we like to tr continue our cycling workout data with strength training, you could totally do so. The transition is super seamless. And of course you have the new now playing look right here and maximize the information if you don't want to see everything else or accidentally toggle something. Then maps on watchOS 10 also got a good overhaul in new tools because now it actually supports topographic layouts. So you can actually see like the mountain hills and stuff and see if it is really high terrain. But in addition to that, if you actually play with the digital crown, you can actually see the walking distance that will take you to reach a certain area. As you can see right there, we have the mileage on the bottom. That's really neat. And then just like our iPhones on watchOS 17, you can actually select like certain sections to offload maps and it will actually store that data on the Apple Watch as well. And then if you long press on somewhere, you can actually like drop pins on the map as well. And then if you use the compass a lot, now whenever you activate compass, you actually have elevation support as well. You can actually see the elevation right here on the compass layout. In addition to that, Compass will actually mark locations once you lose reception. So as soon as it, lose, uh, it notices that you lost reception on your cell phone or your Apple Watch, it will actually leave a reception marker so you can actually backtrack to check on messages you might have missed during your hike or go back to that location to get a hold of somebody in case of an emergency. It does that all automatically in the Compass app now. And then for number 18, of course, I already showed you the new two new watch faces the first one is palette just a, a nice elegant ability to have four different colors at once nothing out of the ordinary it's just it will just display the time and if you tap edit of course you have access to additional colors you can select from the other new watch face is snoopy don't hate on him he's a classic he was originally released with the series zero a long time ago i'm glad to see that he's back but the cool thing about him is that he will actually react to the current weather conditions as apple demonstrated and then lastly is the new mindfulness receive a new feature and that is state of mind which basically will allow you to log in like your mental mind went throughout the day so you can log how you're feeling right now or overall the day and then you can use digital crown to switch between like very pleasant, pleasant, slightly pleasant, neutral, slightly unpleasant, unpleasant, very unpleasant. And it just goes by that and you can log in like how you're feeling, embarrassed, guilty, community was was irritating me, dating, education. Uh, it just goes on and on. You can add context too if you like. I'm not going to go ahead and do that, but... If you keep logging a certain amount of things, the Apple Watch will advise you if you need like 
help or something like that. And just like that, those are 20 things you gotta know about watchOS 10 and some important things to also take in consideration like compatibility. And if you have an Apple Watch Ultra, if you know where the night mode now is located, as well as some common gesture questions a lot of people were asking. If you found this video informative, useful, you know, leave this video a like. Make sure you are subscribed because I have a lot more content coming out in the near future revolving around watchOS 10 and things to definitely know about. I'll be sure to continue making these updated videos, especially when new updates come out for the beta profile in the near future. So make sure you are subscribed. If you'd like to watch more, check out that video over there where I go through everything new for iOS 17. And then that video over there, that is a video YouTube is recommending specifically for you. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.